New businesses in the Triangle hope to benefit from the holiday shopping weekend. Between Black Friday and Cyber Monday, today is Small Business Saturday, with a focus on staying local. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer spoke with store owners and shoppers in downtown Raleigh. Really, it's a really cool, fun, busy day for everybody. This is John Pugh's first small business Saturday located on Hargett Street in downtown Raleigh. Yeah, the weather's been kind of messy, but it's, people are still coming out. People like Eileen Miller stopping in House of Swank Clothing to get custom shirts while out for holiday shopping. It's mom and pops that are kind of the backbone, so I think it's great to be able to go out and support as many people as you can. For Christine Brenner with Read With Me, Small Business Saturday is a day she, her husband, Jonathan, and son, Ethan, look forward to every year. Is that one you recommend to shoppers today? I haven't recommended it in a while. It definitely just makes it a, a more fun environment for me. Everyone really wants to get a jump on their shopping list. I've had several people actually just finish it off completely. There's been so many other um, new shops that have opened downtown, especially even just compared to last year. Officials with the Downtown Raleigh Alliance say so far this year, 39 storefront businesses have opened here downtown. The day not only helping shoppers, but local business in the long run. It enables me to be able to afford things for my son in the community, so whether it's music lessons or school um, or clothing. I have a friend who um, owns a small wine shop and she always says whenever people come by wine, it's helping pay for her kids' braces. Supporting others while creating holiday memories. It gets people out, it gets to see their neighbors, and uh, yeah, it's just incredibly important. In Raleigh, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News. And those braces are not cheap. Well, looking ahead, if online shopping is more of your thing, Cyber Monday is just around the corner. The National Retail Federation says 75 million people will take advantage of bargains online. With many Black Friday deals becoming available online in recent years, though, some of the excitement around Cyber Monday has decreased a bit. Retailers, though, say they will have hundreds of deals available, including some that you will not be able to find this weekend.